Hey, hello, Ravi here from Llama Index. Uh, in this video, I'll give a quick walkthrough of uh, LLM native solution for resume matching. So the use case that we are tackling is often recruiters uh, get lots of resumes for a job posting, right? And current available solutions still use manual filter selection and probably explicit matching criteria right to get the best candidates for a given job posting. But uh, with the LLMs helping us get better understanding of the documents, can we use LLMs for uh, making resume matching for a job description easier? So in this notebook, I'll show you how you can build one such simple solution for resume matching. Um, so this is still a starter solution. We might need to build a lot of things to make it uh, into production by taking user feedback. So for this uh, demonstration, to make things simpler, I'll be using Kaggle resume dataset, uh, which has around uh, 2400 plus resumes uh, in PDF format. So I have specifically sampled uh, 30 resumes to make things easier uh, from finance, information technology and sales domains. So let's get started with the process now. So uh, to build a LLM uh, native resume matching solution, all we need is uh, an index of these resumes, right? So uh, you get these resumes and use Llama parse to build, uh, uh, to parse these resumes and build an index. Once uh, you have uh, built an index, so we have three different use cases here. So uh, uh, the HR can come, uh, the recruiter can come and ask a query and uh, it should give um, the relevant uh, candidates based on the resumes or else you have a job description and then based on the job description it should retrieve uh, the relevant candidates and then third one is okay i have uh, uh, these relevant candidates and then the job description as well how now i need to analyze uh, how are these uh, retrieved candidates are suitable for this job description right so these are three different use cases that we approach so let's uh, uh, dig more deep into these different stages so the first is uh, building index on candidate resumes. So you download candidate resumes, basically take uh, Kaggle resumes uh, data set, part of it which is 30 resumes. Use Llama parse to parse these files and then uh, you extract metadata like what are the skills these uh, candidates pose and then uh, where uh, which kind of companies uh, or uh, countries uh, uh, these candidates have worked uh, or graduated from and then the domains like IT or sales or finance uh, domain that the candidate has worked in. And then uh, once you have this metadata information and the text available from the document, you uh, index on the Llama cloud all these resumes along with this metadata so that we can use them during the retrieval purposes. And then going to the first stage which is retrieval based on the HR query. So given um, a HR query, we'll extract all the skills uh, uh, countries, companies, domains and various uh, metadata information and use this metadata information uh, uh, to retrieve uh, the uh, relevant candidates based on the HR query using the uh, uh, index. So we'll index all these uh, resumes on Llama Cloud uh, Enterprise Platform index here. And the next is uh, the job description. Similar to the earlier one on the uh, basis of HR query, from the job description as well, we will extract all these uh, different metadata information and then uh, uh, retrieve relevant candidates. So yeah, and then the final the, uh, analysis part, once you have the retrieved candidates and the job description, we send both of these uh, uh, candidates information, uh, the text present in the resumes and the job description to uh, the LLM and ask it to analyze uh, uh, why uh, some of these candidates are good, some of these candidates are not uh, suitable for this uh, job uh, description so that uh, the recruiter can take a call accordingly, right? So this is uh, the overall uh, solution process and uh, uh, let me uh, give a quick walkthrough of the notebook. Uh, I'll not be running uh, each cell here, uh, rather I'll be uh, showing what are the functions I have used and then the overall workflow, how I build it. Uh, because parsing and other things take uh, usually uh, a bit time here because of large amount of files. So we'll start with uh, installing the necessary uh, packages, uh, Llama Index and Llama Index uh, uh, Indices Manage Llama Cloud, Llama Parse and Llama Cloud. 
which are useful for building parsing and uh, basically uh, managing the index on the llama cloud platform and then we'll use uh, openai uh, and then llama cloud api key here um, so uh, uh, that you can get it from uh, openai and uh, uh, cloud.llamaindex.ai uh, api keys so we'll set up uh, openai lm uh, gpt 40 mini here and then I said we'll uh, download the uh, sample data from Kaggle resume data set. I have uh, kept these uh, uh, sample data set from on Dropbox so that you can uh, download it and also a job description which I have uh, created it based on um, uh, some prompts uh, using Claude. So uh, this is also an LLM generated sample one. And once you have the data, uh, the next step is you need to parse the files and then create metadata and uh, index the on llama cloud right so uh, so here we have some utils for the same parse files it uses llama parse uh, or native parser to parse these files and list pdf files it just lists, uh, lists all the pdf files in the directory that we download and metadata is uh, parenting model to structure resume matching uh, to get uh, domain skills con uh, educational country information and then uh, create llama cloud pipeline is uh, where we create an empty index or the pipeline on llama cloud and get metadata basically extract the structured metadata from the uh, resume text that you provide or extracted using llama parse and send it to llm to get this metadata and then you upload these documents uh, to uh, llama cloud pipeline right yeah so these are the functions uh, which are uh, parse the files and then list pdf files and the uh, metadata uh, parenting base model to extract these metadata and then you create a pipeline uh, by providing uh, the embedding and uh, transformation which is chunks and uh, uh, chunk overlap information and then uh, use a prompt and then uh, get this uh, structured metadata information as well and then you um, you download uh, these uh, uh, basically you upload these uh, documents uh, to the llama cloud pipeline once we have all these uh, util files uh, we will parse these uh, documents and then uh, um, and then so whatever metadata information that we are extracting uh, we need to keep track of all these metadata information because when a user qu uh, queries or uh, based on job description we are trying to extract the metadata those metadata should ideally fall into these uh, uh, metadata that we have extracted so uh, so while extracting the metadata uh, during uh, querying or the from the job description will uh, this will make sure that uh, all that metadata extracted will fall into these uh, available metadata uh, information so we will initialize these three lists to keep the track of uh, metadata information and then you will create an uh, pipeline or an index on llama cloud so here we have uh, embedding config and then transform config embedding config will say the, uh, what is the embedding model we'll use here we use open uh, embedding model and then transform config is what is the chunk size and chunk overlap uh, and then create a pipeline uh, the index name resume matching right and then once you have the uh, empty index uh, you upload this document to the index once uh, the index and uh, the documents are uploaded to the index uh, we uh, connected to the llama cloud uh, index uh, same name with the uh, resume matching uh, so the necessary details of organization id and project name you'll find on the um, ui itself so now we have the uh, index ready next we do is uh, candidate retrieval so we need uh, some uh, information uh, so first we'll go with the hr query uh, retrieval based on the hr user query right so we need uh, query metadata so you need to get the metadata from the user query and uh, candidates retriever from the query and once you have all the nodes uh, basically you get the candidate file paths as well right so here are the utils so here uh, you get the, you extract the metadata so as said uh, extract metadata should be from the following uh, items right so uh, you include these global skills global countries and global domains by uh, giving passing through the uh, structured predict function and then uh, while candidates retriever you get this metadata from the query and uh, um, send it to the retriever and get the uh, necessary uh, the nodes 
once you have the nodes uh, so each of these nodes have the file path of the uh, chunk so you get the uh, uh, basically file path of these resumes right so this is other function wherein uh, you extract uh, metadata from the job description and uh, use do once you have uh, uh, metadata information from job description you do the same things again right so so yeah uh, these are the functions and uh, once you have all these utils uh, here is some query i want someone who studied in us java developer and worked in it right so um, so this is uh, some query and uh, you pass it to the index and then get uh, the necessary filters and uh, and then uh, retrieve the candidates so here the candidate file paths these are the uh, probable candidates right so uh, we take top three uh, uh, probable uh, nodes so you can increase the number of similarity top k and then see what are the probable candidates that you are uh, getting in and then uh, i have a job description as well so we pa use lama parse again to uh, pass this file so here uh, is some job description about the role and key responsibilities required qualifications and then technical skills and other uh, general job description right and then based on this job description you uh, get these uh, metadata filters and then uh, retrieve some of the candidates uh, here are some uh, candidate file paths that it retrieved and so then uh, once you have these candidate file uh, re relevant uh, candidates file paths you can then use um, uh, anal analyzer basically send the uh, uh, resume text as well as job description to the llm to um, uh, ask and ask it to analyze why specific candidates are suitable for the job and then uh, it gives a neat, neat analysis uh, what are the strengths of the candidate and suitability of the candidate uh, based on the specific uh, uh, job description you can prompt uh, uh, in the llm i mean uh, in the query uh, basically what are the specific traits you want to see in the candidates and then uh, uh, see some other uh, traits in the each of these candidates and uh, based on which you can take a decision right so so this is how uh, you can build uh, an llm native resume matching solution uh, when you have a bunch of resumes and the job description and uh, um, uh, your recruiter wants to have a conversational capability as well uh, with the uh, solution so uh, please do experiment uh, with different data set and let us know uh, how it works see you in the next video thank you